All right, so this go around be looking at Harry Enfield, Embarrassing Chemist. This is a compilation, I guess, of all the clips. So yeah, uh, we've looked at a few things by Harry Enfield on the channel before, so let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? I tried being a bright and cheery attitude with the customers, y'all. Yeah? This is a friendly, close-knit community, and we're very much at the heart of it. Where there is despair, we bring hope. Where Bro, there is pain, the we quality. bring relief. Where there is Jesus. darkness, we bring light, especially when developing photos. Ah, <laughs> oh, good morning, Mrs. Bridges. Good morning, Mr. Vanderbilt. Uh, this is my new assistant, Mina. She has just started today. And what can we do for you this fine morning, Mrs. Bridges? I just wondered if my photos were ready. Yeah, I believe they came in today. Mina! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mrs. Bridges' photos in the box over there, please. And how's your husband, Mr. Bridges? Oh, he's fine. Good, good. And your children? Very well. Good, good. And your stools? <laughs> and your stools? Are you shitting firmer stools this week, Mrs. Bridges? <laughs> you had a prescription for tempezoline on Thursday, yeah, for chronic diarrhea? <laughs> I'd be mortified. Yes, thank you. Good, good. You're pushing out nice, tough turds again. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's really the doctor prescribes tenpezoline. You must have had really bad diarrhea. You must have really splatted the bowl. Who <laughs> splatted the bowl? <laughs> ah, bro. Well, if uh, you know if you went to a pharmacy in real life and it you were it was all being broadcast like this, somebody be done slap the crap out of this homie. Itchy crack, eh? Lots of anal leakage. <laughs> anal leakage? Nice to see you, Miss Bridges. Have a nice boo. <laughs> 2.45, please. Jim? Kelly? It is you. God, how are you? Really well. Uh, have you just moved back up here? Yeah, about a month ago. I just bought a flat round the corner. 7.55 came. You should go out for a drink sometime, if you like. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, how about tonight? I'd really like that. Is that genital or oral, sir? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Your herpes. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about drinks. He gonna talk about your herpes. Oh, that what a way to kill the mood. Oh my god. I mean, it's a hell of a way to find out, right? Of any kind of thing so like that. But holy crap, just to broadcast it so loudly. He fucking yelled that. <laughs> Yo. Why do I get the feeling there's not going to be any drinks involved now? Do your weeping sores once every two hours. Take the gentleman's money and thoroughly wash your hands. Sores. We should go out for that drink sometime. Good afternoon, Mr. Gregson. Good afternoon. How just this, please? Bit of an upset stomach, have we? Uh, not me, my wife. She's been sick for the last few days. Oh, congratulations! That's fantastic news! What? Well, she's pregnant then. No, 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 she's just got a bit of an upset tummy. Upset tummy, my ass. <laughs> she's a bun in the oven. She can't be pregnant, I've had a vasectomy. Well, why else would she have come here on Friday and bought the pregnancy testing kit? successful snip, eh, Mina? But that poor assistant is like, oh, well, no. <laughs> I mean, the that look, that I'm like, shit. man who is fertile has been poking her. Oh, my God. <laughs> That'd be that'd be somebody who's not open for very long, telling everybody's business, worse than the ladies at the at the hair salon, and being loud and uh, obnoxious about it. like you. He'd have he would not be in business for very long. Oh my god, <laughs> these must be people who know, must not know any better. <laughs> Yo. Prozac, Prozac, Prozac. 
I'm sorry to depress you, Mrs. Beasley, but we're out of Prozac. <laughs> depress you, Prozac. <laughs> Ironic, eh? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> we're out of Prozac. Sorry to depress you. We're out of Prozac. Cheer up, love. It might never happen. Here you are, Mrs. Bridges. That should exterminate your pubic lice. <laughs> stay where you are. Put your hands right and see them. Right, you. Bit of bag of all the morphine you've got. Go on, move. Hang on, I know that voice. It's little Teddy Patterson, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. I never forget the customer. How's your penis, Teddy? All cleared up? Just give me the morphine. Oh, from that, I take it, it hasn't. I expect you need some more of your special cream. Mina! Some of Terry's special cream for his penile fungal growth. <laughs> Don't forget the drugs he's robbing. <laughs> no, Terry, the main cause of the fungal growth on the end of your penis is lack of hygiene. You need to scrub thoroughly under your foreskin where most of the mushrooms are forming. <laughs> With that attitude, he'll never get rid of his monkey prick. <laughs> I better ring his mother. <coughs> Good morning. Morning. I think my photographs are ready. I don't know what the emphasis to come up with something like this is, but this was absolutely, this is comedic genius right here. This is hilarious. Oh my God. That's one of the things I love about comedians and people who do comedy that come up with characters and do skits and stuff like that because flashing out ideas and then having them actually hit properly, I think, not only does a character have to hit right, but your timing and everything else has to, and this is just genius. Okay. Oh, Mr. Zagorski. That's an unusual name. Is it Polish? Uh, yes, I think so, originally. I filled a prescription for a Mrs. Zagorski last week. Your wife, I think. Right. Oh. Mina! <laughs> Mr. Zagorski's photos. In the box over there, please. Oh. Flicking through your photos, I noticed that you're an homosexual. <laughs> what? You, you, you look at them? Oh, I like to check them for quality, yeah. I mean, it's none of my business, but you must have an open relationship. Yes, you're quite right. It is none of your business, and I'd be grateful if you didn't tell my wife. Oh, a closet case, just as we thought, Mina. <laughs> no, don't worry, Mr. Zagorski. Discretion is a pharmacist's byword. It's none of my business where you put your pork sword. It's <laughs> <laughs> anyway, not as if you're the only one in this town in this predicament. There's Mr. Jones, the butcher, Mr. French, the stationer. Oh, but you probably know them already from the public toilet. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Happy bumming. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Bro, this was absolutely hysterical. Number one, embarrassing pharmacists. Just a concept of a pharmacist who's a little bit too loud for his own good, you know, letting everybody else hear. Uh, yeah, yeah, your your issues and <laughs> things of that nature. Bro, that's... And executed just absolutely brilliantly. Did, this was hilarious. Oh, my God. We have to look at more Henry Enfield. We, we've already looked at some stuff by him on the channel, but we have to look at some more stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.